Let's graph the linear equation y equals x plus 3. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll plug some values in for x, find the corresponding values for y, and then we'll graph them. Then we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So I like putting a 0 in for x when I start out, because I know that'll show up on my graph. 0 plus 3, that gives me 3. Let's put a 1 in. 1 plus 3 is 4, and then a negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3, that's just 2. So these are the points that we'll graph for y equals x plus 3. So we find x is 0, that's right here, and y is 3, 1, 2, 3. That's our first point. We have x is 1, and then y is 4. And finally, we have x is minus 1, so we go this direction, and y is 2. And you can see we have this line here. We could have done it with two points, but three points, then I know that I didn't make any errors. Let's put a line through these points. And then we'll put arrows to show it goes to infinity. Now we can check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So b, that's the y-intercept. That's where the line will cross the y-axis, and that is 3. So we go down the y-axis till we get to 3 right there. So that's our first point. Now we can use the slope to figure out the rest of the points. So in front of the x there's a 1. We don't write it by convention, but it's there. And we can think of the slope as 1 over 1. It's still just 1, but now we have rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept, rise 1, and go over 1. And we can do that again. Rise 1, go over 1, rise 1, go over 1. And we can do it in the opposite direction. We could go down 1 and 1 in the opposite direction. Down 1 and 1 in the opposite direction. And you can see all of these points are on our line y equals x plus 3. So we did this part correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals x plus 3. Thanks for watching.